All right, guys, it is docked. Don't turn the switch off. Episode number one. I'm 93B Rice here, and this is your Switch podcast on the channel, and hopefully becomes one of your favorite Switch podcasts. I absolutely love the Nintendo Switch. I think it is a phenomenal game console, and I just want to talk about all things Nintendo, all things Nintendo Switch every week with you guys. So let's start this episode one off right. The first subject of the podcast that we will be doing every week is what am I playing on my Switch right now? There's two main games that I'm playing right now on my Switch. is Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shin Megami Tensei 5. Shin Megami Tensei 5, I am slow playing. Little nibbles here and there, 30 minutes, 45 minutes. Uh, and I'm having a good time with it, I really am, but... It is so hard when I'm on my Switch to take myself off of Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. And is it one of the, like, knock your socks off Pokemon games? It's solid. It is It is not insanely good. But, it is a lot of fun. It is Pokemon. It is, the, it is, it is what I love about Pokemon. It always sinks its teeth into me. And uh, that is... Mainly what I'm playing right now is Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. So if you are on the fence about that game, I say if you like Pokemon, you're going to like this game. Next on to subject number two is our underrated Switch game of the week. But first, let me know in the comments below what you guys are playing right now on your Nintendo Switches. Whether it's a couple games, whether it's one game, whether it's a bunch of games. Let me know. Our underrated Switch game of the week is Snipper Clips. This is a game that came out right when the Switch came out. It was one of the launch games. And I hear nothing but bad things about this from people. Not bad like, oh, this game's horrible. It's like, ah, that game came and went. It was meh. Whatever. If you have someone to play with, this game is a blast. It is fun. It is frustrating in the right ways when you're playing with someone. And I'm telling you, if you're looking for a really fun two-player game on the Switch, Snipper Clips is right up there with the best of them. So I'm telling you, go check out Snipper Clips. Great game. If you guys have any underrated Switch games you love to play or that are your favorite, put them down below in the comments. And now I'm talking underrated. I'm not talking the Zeldas, the Marios, the Pokemons underrated after our first two segments we will have different segments each week and this week it is what is my and your guys favorite switch game of all time now i know most people's is one of three smash brothers ultimate mario kart deluxe and zelda breath of the wild now mine doesn't fall on any of those my favorite Switch game of all time is Super Mario Odyssey. I absolutely love that game. I adore that game. It was my favorite game of that year over Breath of the Wild. And there is something about that game that is just Mario at its best. I think it's the best Mario game ever made. I know a lot of people won't agree with that. I know a lot of people love it, though. It is beloved. So if you are new to the Nintendo Switch and you don't have Mario Odyssey, save up your money. Or if you have money, go out and get that game right now because that game is an absolute blast. And now to talk about, this is part of the same segment. I want to talk about Zelda Breath of the Wild. But first, comment down below what is your favorite Switch game of all time. I bet you there's going to be a lot of Breath of the Wilds in there. And the thing about Breath of the Wild is we have a segment coming up soon on this series. And it is going to be, we finally beat Breath of the Wild. Now, I know what you're thinking, what? I never have, I've never gone past five hours on Breath of the Wild. I don't know what it is. I play it. I don't touch it for a while. And I'm like, well, I need to restart. Because I don't really remember the controls. I don't remember where I was at. That type thing. And I just never get through it. So once we beat Pokemon Brilliant Diamond, I will be bringing a update weekly 
of where we are in Zelda Breath of the Wild. What I'm thinking, what my thing is, my thoughts are. And we will finally beat the game, whether I'm enjoying it or not. I'm going to push myself, if I'm not enjoying it, to beat Zelda Breath of the Wild. And now, we look forward. This segment is 2022 looking forward for the Nintendo Switch. And this year, Nintendo brings bangers. They do. Nintendo just brings bangers after bangers every year. I would say at least four incredible games every year you get from Nintendo. And we're going to get them this year. Pokemon Legends Arceus comes out very soon. And uh, I've seen some people be skeptical about this game. If this game is what it's saying it wants to be, this game is going to be incredible. It really is. And if it's just another Pokemon game that just looks a bit different, it's still going to be a blast. Uh, I'm not a big Kirby guy, so I'm not like super stoked for Kirby in the Forgotten Land. But after that, the possibilities are endless. Splatoon 3 could come out this year. That is gonna that is gonna be fun. That is gonna be great if it comes out. The Elephant in the Room, Zelda Breath of the Wild 2, if it does come out this year, that is gonna be most people's game of the year. You don't even have to worry about what other games come out except maybe God of War Ragnarok. But this is a Switch podcast. So yeah, it's Zelda Breath of the Wild 2. There's rumors about a new Mario Kart. If a new Mario Kart comes out, that's going to be near the top of people's list. Bayonetta 3, is that going to finally come out this year? That it always is at the top of people's lists. There's just so many amazing potential games to come out that this year could be amazing. We know Mario Rabbit sequel is coming out. That game is so good. That just game came out of left field. So the sequel, it's going to be more looked on. It should it it could be a disappointment. But odds are it's gonna be a banger. And it's gonna be a lot of fun. As far as what game on the Switch I'm looking forward to most this year, it is Legends Arceus. I'm very excited to see if they can pull this off the what the way they're describing it. But also, I am looking forward to Breath of the Wild too. Because of this series that I'm going to be doing, playing through Breath of the Wild. Hopefully it will lead up to Breath of the Wild 2. And I can jump in and like just have that Zelda mindset. Have that, I just had a blast beating Breath of the Wild. Let's jump into Breath of the Wild 2. And yeah, it'll be a lot of fun. Let me know in the comments below what Switch game you're looking forward to most in 2022. That is episode one of Docked. Don't turn the switch off. Make sure to let me know in the comments what you guys are playing. Your underrated Switch game of the week. Your favorite Switch game of all time. And what game or games you are looking forward to most in 2022. Docked episode one out. Guys, don't turn that switch off.